how's everybody doing today welcome back to the channel today we are going to be talking about the top five stocks that in my opinion are going to be really good around the gaming space right so i'm personally very bullish around gaming um and the industry as a whole because in my opinion uh, more and more people are getting into it of all ages and especially with more people just being at home not going out i think in the long run it's going to be much better um and if we look at basically the esports viewership it has grown substantially within the last few years and it will just keep growing from here so these are the top five like gaming companies that either make the games uh, make the consoles for it own own the like industries around it and stuff like that i personally don't play too many games right now but i do know the space quite well so i'm going to be going through all of that now, um, right before we jump into it, if you haven't already, make sure to sign up for Weeble. I'm going to have a link down in the description. It's basically one of my favorite brokerages. It's, it's like Robinhood, but it's much better. They have a lot more um, better charts, stuff like that. So if you guys are looking to actually buy stocks and just use Weeble, why not? You can sign up and you'll get two free stocks. Basically, if you just... Um, if you just deposit $100 or more, that's all you have to do. You'll get two free stocks. Why not? It's literally free money. So I'll have the link down in the description to do it if you haven't already. So um, let's just dive straight into this. Um, but if we um, look at basically the sports viewers, right? There's obviously normal sports and there's esports. Esports is basically like the competitive scene of gaming. And like the ratio of how much sports has been growing and how much like esports has been growing like esports has grown substantially compared to actual sports like um, actual sports is um kind of like a flattened compared to esports obviously it's very different um and but i do think within the next five to ten years even more than that just in the future right but i will be holding these for the next five to ten years um when the time comes i think that um it's gonna go mainstream and it's gonna be huge like people in my opinion will be like as hyped for um like gaming stuff as like actual sports so let's just dive straight into this um the first one is obviously microsoft now people don't really know but they own a good amount of gaming stuff obviously they own minecraft that's one of the biggest gaming companies especially for the um younger generation and even minecraft has like three games on its own like they have three different games i think they just released one um like spin-off version but they own obviously xbox all the xbox stuff like that they all they they even own games like they own actual games so um this is um twitch if you don't know basically shows like the top games that um are popular right now that people are viewing live so there's like a quarter million on this game 200,000 on League of Legends, Grand Theft Auto, 200,000. They own um, Apex Legends. Microsoft owns this game right here. Um, and they own Minecraft, which is like the fifth most popular right now on this um, section. They own other games as well, but um, I just don't know them at the top of my head. But they do own games as well. Um, they obviously have like the whole monetization around Xbox and stuff like that. So um, if you didn't see my last video about like not actually buying stocks or not because in my opinion stocks are really overpriced right now especially microsoft at, at a 30p ratio so i'm personally waiting for a, a see like a good dip that i believe will happen within the next few months as companies release their earnings but nonetheless um even if i buy these stocks now i'm gonna be holding them and i do expect to do well for the next five years but me personally i do have a few shares of these companies i'm showing today but i don't have too much i'm definitely looking to grow my positions in these the second stock is tencent now this is another one of those bigger market cap stocks i believe they um it doesn't say right here but i believe they're at like 400 million market cap like they're a big company no 400 billion market cap um, something like that. They're a big company, right? Um, so um, basically what Tencent owns is, um, let's go back here. They basically own um, this game right here, League of Legends. Um, they own like Riot Games, which is basically the makers of this game, League of Legends. They own a portion of Fortnite, this game right here. Um, not a big amount, but they own, I think, like 30% or something. So they have a chunk of this game. They literally own, um, I believe they own World of Warcraft. Um, they own Valorant as well. They're the same makers as League of Legends. Um, they also own, I think they own Dota 2, but they own a, quite a bit of games, right? Um, Tencent owns a ton of games. So um, they're 
a big space around it. Obviously, they um ha- they're like a huge entertainment company. They don't only own games. They have like like a lot of movies, even like Marvel. If you watched Endgame and like stuff like that, those like big movies, you can literally see the Tencent logo before the movie starts. So they they're not only in gaming. So um I'm gonna be- personally, if you split, if you buy a few stocks of all these companies and you just hold them, I believe. Um, as the industry grows, it will definitely do like pretty good. Um, so yeah, that's Tencent. Obviously, do your research about these companies individually. I'm not gonna show you everything in this video. I'm just per- I'm just like simply showing you these stocks. Next one is Activision Blizzard. So this company owns a lot, right? They own Call of Duty. It's one of their big ones. They own um, Blizzard, which is basically I think they might be the makers of um, World of Warcraft. Actually, I think they're the makers of this game. Um, I'm not in like if you if you just search like Blizzard um, games, you can basically see all the games that they own. So yeah, they own World of Warcraft. So yeah, they don't own this. They own um, this game. Oh, yeah, they own World of Warcraft. That's what they own. Um, wait, where was it? Oh yeah, right here. Um, they own Diablo. They own Starcraft. So they own a ton of games right here. Um, but that's only Blizzard. That's they own Overwatch. That's only Blizzard, though. That they don't even. That's not their Activision side of things. So if you go to Activision Games, you can basically see all the games they personally own. Call of Duty is a big one. That's basically their biggest one. They own um, Crash Bandicoot, which is like a classic game, and they own a lot of like smaller games, right? Like Skylanders. If you if you've like, I believe it was like all over the commercials and stuff like that. They own a lot of mobile games too, as well. So they're not only in one thing. They obviously own a lot of like studios and stuff like that. So that's a big one that um, Activision is a big one. Obviously, Call of Duty is like their main thing that brings a lot of revenue. And I don't think Call of Duty is going anywhere um, in the time being, especially with the esports scene kind of growing slowly. So, yeah, the next one is Take Two Interactive. I made a video on this stock before. They basically are the owners of GTA. So GTA is obviously one of the big like one of the biggest games out there. They have like a crazy fan base. They own Rockstar Games, right? So Rockstar Games um, owns Red Dead Redemption and um, GTA. GTA is literally been out for like, like, is it like seven years now? And they're still the top three game right now streaming live, which is crazy. Like that is actually crazy. Um, now they're the number one game, Tw- quarter million viewers. That's a lot for a six year old game. And they um, they are going to be releasing their GTA 6 within a few years, which is going to be crazy. So um, that's definitely something I'm very bullish on. The fan base around these games will buy like literally any game they put out if they have a strong fan base. So um, that just shows that they, they definitely have um, a good fan base around them. And they will definitely grow in the future, in my opinion. So they also own 2K, which is obviously all the basketball games like 2K, NBA 2K. They also own like basically the whole um, like all the sports games, right? So 2K, they own NBA, they own 2K20 um, wrestling, WWE, and they have a lot of different games too. Borderlands. And you can just see all the games they own, all the Borderlands, all the basketball games, which is a pretty, pretty big uh, moneymaker as well. The next stock is Nintendo. Now, n- the thing is, Nintendo isn't too big on esports. They're mainly focused on like the early teens of people, but they definitely have an older audience as well. They definitely do. Now, the thing with Nintendo is, is that they have been around for a while, right? Of course, but the thing is with them is that they have such a big fan base around all their games um like literally the nintendo switch right if you go nintendo switch um it has been out let's check the release date on the nintendo switch 2017 so it's been out for three years a bit more than three years now right the game's literally sold out the nintendo switch is sold out three years later if you go on walmart and you want to buy a nintendo switch 700 dollars it's literally that expensive. I bought my Nintendo Switch. I, I haven't used it in a while. But I remember buying it for 300 If you want to buy a Nintendo Switch for 300 it's literally sold out on Walmart online. The biggest right now. Think about that. If, like, it's... And the Nintendo Switch is selling at Walmart for over, um, I believe... Um, I mean, six, not on Walmart. On eBay for like four or $500. Almost double what it's worth. Like, that is crazy demand, right? That is insane. Like, there's one on eBay for $1,500 right now. I don't know if that's legit, 
but that is crazy. That just shows you how much demand there is for Nintendo products. So let's say, um, let's say, um, let's compare it to another game. Let's check a Call of Duty from two years ago, right? Um, what is that? Call of Duty from 2018. What was that? Um, was it Black Ops 4? So let's check Black Ops 4. Let's try to buy that game. Let's see how much that game cost from two years ago. On eBay, it's going for around 20 bucks, 15 bucks from a Call of Duty from two years ago. Let's look at a Nintendo game from two years ago. Um, I don't know what game came out. Pokemon. Okay, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu from two years ago, right? So um, these games are 60 bucks each, right? So let's say we want to buy a Let's Go Pikachu game. Let's see how much that costs. I, I can't type. That game, if you want to buy it, uh, for some reason there's no price, but let's go like Walmart, for example. It was 20 bucks. It's still going for 60 bucks. You see that? Let's see on Walmart though. 88 bucks. The game literally went up in value. The game is usually worth 60 bucks. Now it's worth 80. Um, the reason I'm showing you this is literally because that like shows you how much demand there is. Let's just go back to Nintendo stuff. That just shows you how much demand there is for Nintendo products. Like um, the thing is they like you can literally buy these games um, digitally, right? You can buy a digital version. But people like literally want the physical copies of it. That just like literally says um, how much um, thing. If there wasn't this much demand for let's say a Call of Duty game from two years ago, that the game literally drops in value 20 bucks. If you buy a Nintendo game and you want to sell it in two years, you can literally get your money back. Like it's that much valuable. Like it's that valuable, right? So um, obviously I believe Nintendo is a very good buy. Um, I'm not necessarily right now, but if it does dip in the near future, then um, I will definitely buy some more shares. I do have a little bit. I think I bought Nintendo at around, was it, I bought it at like, I, I bought it at around 35 and I sold it, I think a year ago at like 40, 50. So I made a good profit on it already, but I'm definitely looking to buy back and just holding it because the fan base around it, I think will just continue to grow as they release new products. Obviously, I'm probably gonna split my money around these five stocks because these five stocks hold a good amount of the gaming industry. And if I'm bullish on the gaming industry as a whole, I believe in five years, all these stocks should grow. If not all of them, maybe four out of five of these stocks, three out of five, even if three out of five of these stocks blow up, the other two kind of stay stale. I believe still I will be making a significant amount of profits in the next five years. That's why I kind of want to diversify into these five companies to get the gaming industry as a whole, if that makes sense. Now, you guys might be thinking, um, maybe you'll buy a gaming ETF. ETF is um, like a company. It's one stock that holds a lot of gaming companies, but I don't think I would recommend it. I googled it like a gaming ETF. And this is what came up. Like, this is the number one gaming ETF, right? Like, it's been up, it's up quite a bit. I, I think it just came out, like, a few months ago. But either way, I wouldn't recommend buying a gaming ETF. Like, they basically hold all these stocks in small portions along with other companies. I wouldn't really recommend this because look at the volume. Only 50000 So if I were to buy $10,000 of this stock, I, I could, I would have a really hard time selling it. If I were to sell it, the... the it would not be a good time. So with only a small market cap like this, I would be a lot better off buying different gaming companies than buying a gaming ETF. So if you guys were thinking about just getting an ETF instead of buying a lot of companies at once, I wouldn't really I wouldn't really buy a gaming ETF. A lot of these ETFs have very low volume, which you guys have to like be careful of. Definitely you have to be careful of that. So yeah, that is that. Now, one last thing I wanted to touch on. There's one more gaming company that's huge. Like they have a, it's one of the biggest that I don't really think I would be buying is EA. Now, obviously EA is one of the biggest with 33 billion market cap. They own games like The Sims, Apex Legends with, if you look at this, Apex Legends, was, which, which was a huge hyped up game, right? Um, wait, no, they don't own Apex Legends. My bad. No, no, no. Microsoft owns Apex Legends. Wait, do they? Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Apex Legends owners. Oh yeah, EA owns Apex Legends. Okay, I don't know why I thought Microsoft owned them, but my bad. <laughs> but like, it's not that popular and um, EA spent a lot of money hyping up this game. And yeah, that's like one of their most popular games, but I believe as a whole, 
EA does not have um, a fan base that likes their stuff. EA is one of the most hated gaming companies. So being a hated gaming company, I don't really think. Obviously, um, I may buy a few of this just to hold to get more diversification into the gaming industry. But I don't really think I'm bullish on them too much. They have their biggest games like FIFA and obviously the gaming stuff. Um, the other gaming sport companies, those gaming sport games. But I think as a whole, I don't really think they're doing that good. Obviously, Battlefield doesn't compete with Call of Duty at all, in my opinion. This Battlefield is not as good at all. And, and generally, they're very hated. Like, they're more hated than Activision. They're, they're a pretty big hated company. And I don't think they're ha they'll have too much of a longevity in them in terms of actually just keep getting new games out and keep growing. So, yeah, they're pretty good. Their stock price is doing pretty good right now. But I don't, I don't think maybe I might buy a few shares. Maybe 10% of my gaming portfolio will be this. But um, I, I don't think I will be buying too much. This was just like an honorable, honorable mention in this. So, yeah, those are the top five stocks I'm looking to buy, in my personal opinion, in the next um, few months, in the next year. I'm going to be watching these companies. If any of them dip into a good price, I will definitely be purchasing them and waiting um, three to five years at least before doing anything because I believe the gaming industry as a whole will be grow quite a bit So that has been that hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. It's a bit long video I don't think I've made a this long of a video in a while So hopefully you guys did enjoy if you made it this part of the video, please subscribe to this channel I'm trying to hit 1,000 subscribers at the end of this year So if you haven't subscribed already, that would be really appreciated and I'll see you guys on my next video